Question, what is the absolute lowest possible finasteride dosage you can take for maintenance? I'm talking after you've taken it at least for a year and you've grown out all the new hair you're basically gonna get. Purely for maintenance to keep what you have. I want you to take your best guess and I'll give you the answer coming right back. You will be in for a surprise. Hello, welcome to today's video. So in the past, we've made videos about the optimal finasteride dosage, about how there's plenty of evidence suggesting that one milligram daily is on the high side, and how a dose that's five times less can produce nearly identical regrowth with a fraction of the side effects. I've linked to the video below. But what happens if you're already a long-term finasteride user? What happens if you've already taken the standard one milligram daily dosage for a year or more? At that point, you've basically gotten almost all the new hair that finasteride's ever gonna give you and you're basically on the maintenance treatment. So what happens then? Can you lower the dose and still keep all your hair? Well, believe it or not, we did not have a study on this up until this past year. And the study came to us from Korea in December of 2020. The revealing title of the paper is Similar Efficacy of Maintenance Treatment of Finasteride 1 milligram Every Other Month compared with finasteride one milligram daily in Korean men with androgenetic alopecia after taking finasteride one milligram daily for one year. Now, unfortunately, we only have the abstract of the research. The full details, the full paper, to the best of our knowledge, have not yet been published. But the abstract on its own is quite long and quite revealing. So the researchers took 23 men who had been on the standard one milligram daily finasteride dosage for at least one year, and they randomly divided them into two groups. One group of men continued to take the standard one milligram daily dosage, but the men in the other group took one milligram pill every two months. Let me repeat that, one pill every two months. That is one sixtieth the standard dosage. The men in the two groups were treated for a further year until their results were assessed again. Now, I have to tell you, the results are really surprising. Only 14% of men in the group that were taking the 1 60th dosage worsened. This compared to 11% of the men who were taking the standard 1 milligram daily dosage. That's a tiny 3% difference, and we can see now that it justifies the title of the paper. Another 50% of the men in the 1 60th group had no change and the remaining 36% surprisingly had a mild improvement. This 36% figure is surprising, and I'm not sure what to make of it. Normally, after one year, you would expect this figure to be close to zero. Unless, of course, there was something else going on that's not mentioned in the abstract. As I said, since we only have the abstract to go by, there's not much more information we can give you. So what do you make of this? Do you buy it? Do you think you can really get away with 1 60th of the dose? Is it really necessary to keep on taking the one milligram daily pill indefinitely? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, and wishing you all the best for 2022, this was Tony for Hairguard. Take care.